Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up your website. Why is it important to speed up your website? Did you know that Google used page speed as a ranking factor? As you can see here from ahrefs.com and most on his site, page speed, the loading time of your website is also important if you want to be ranked first page of Google search. So today I'm going to show you how to install and set up and get started with WP Rocket. Hi, my name is Al and follow me in this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to get started. So without any delay, let's log in to our WordPress website. As you will know, there are many plugins on the market nowadays, free ones and paid, mostly called premium plugins for WordPress. As I mentioned, we're going to look at WP Rocket, a premium plugin. WP Rocket pricing structure is very simple. You get everything. The difference between each package is the amount of website you can actually use the actual plugin on. You got on a single website, three websites, and unlimited websites. Going back to the WordPress dashboard, going to plugins and add new, you won't be able to find the plugins in the repository. So we need to upload the plugins after your purchase. You download the actual zip file, you press upload plugin, you choose your file. Once you choose the file, just press install now. So once the plugin has been installed, all you need to do is click activate plugin. To run the test, I have already used my perfect website, GT Metrics, and this is what we have. This is before I actually installed the plugin. So let's retest the website again. I middle click it and let's see without touching any settings how it performs between before and after. And as you can see, just out of the box, we already have a better performance. We went from a C grade to a B grade. Let's go back again and let's, for example, deactivate WP Rocket. We're gonna skip and deactivate. We're going to retest again to make sure it's not a fluke. Now, as you can see, that is 77, 77 for the structure and grade C again, more or less exactly the same as the first one. So this is the B. Now I'm going to close this one here. I'm going back to the administration. I'm going to activate WP Rocket. Now to access WP Rocket settings, you can click here settings on the plugin list, or you can go to settings. WP Rocket. Now, as you can see here, WP Rocket is activated and it's already running pretty well. As you can see, we already got a better performance, but now we're going to make some changes. Now, what I would like to stress, make sure you back up your website before you make any changes. Sometimes by making changes it can actually break your website. So let's start. And let's see what we can actually do. On the dashboard, you find the account details, status, and there are some analytics you can send to W Rocket so they can actually improve the plugin. That is up to you. So now to start caching your website, we go to the second tab and the cache. As you can see, enable caching for mobile devices is already been selected. We have another option here, enable caching for login users. In this occasion, we're using a e-commerce. And to be honest, because we actually working with live data most of the time on e-commerce, I like to leave this one unchecked. But if it's a static website where you are not having people logging in, you just have a normal website, you might want to enable this feature. For the cache lifespan, you can set in hours, minutes, days, for what I do, I believe 10 hours is more than enough. But if you think you need much less than that, feel free to change to whatever you need. Don't forget for any changes to press save changes. Now let's go to the next tab, file optimization. This is where we're going to start to optimize your website. Now we're going to minify your HTML. That is will reduce the size. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click minify HTML. Also remove some query strings from static resources. Now, if you don't know what that means, let's go back here. For example, if I go any part of the screen and I view the page 
source code, you will find that this is the actual URL, for example, all right? And anything after the question mark, that is class as a query, query strings. So we're going to remove that example here, as you can see here as well. So we're going to remove that. That improved a lot of the GT metric score. We're going to also go to minify the CSS files. And as I said before, make sure you back up your website because some of those features may break your website. I'm going to press minify CSS by activating it. And I'm going to also combine the CSS files that also can give you error. If you want, you can click it or you just leave it unclicked and you just play with it until you're happy with the result in GT metrics. Here, you can actually exclude some of the CSS files if you want to. We have another option is the optimize the CSS delivery. In this case, we're going to say yes. And also we can get the fallback critical CSS. We're going to minify the JavaScript files also accept that and I'm going to combine the JavaScript files as well and also I'm going to accept that load JavaScript deferred and I'm going to save the changes now as you can see here this is was the first test this was the second test with a B now we're going to retest the third time now let's have a look how it performs so as you can see here, the grade is A, it has improved a lot. But as you can see from the image, the actual website looks broken. So let's go back and let's refresh the main page of the website. I'm going to do a control F5 to make sure it looks good here, even though it didn't look right on the GT metrics. We go to retest it again. Perhaps it was just for the first time. Sometimes what you need to do, you need to go to your website, you need to refresh the main page where, and make sure that all the files are cached before you can actually run the test. Now, this one still looks not good here for the picture and has scored a B. Well, before it was an A. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to open a different browser. So I'm going to copy my URL. I'm going to open Microsoft Edge and as you can see here on this browser it doesn't really look good so I'm going to minimize this I'm going back to the plugin and then we're going to start to work out a little bit what the problem can actually be I'm going back on top of the WP rocket I'm going to clear the entire crash I'm going back to my page on uh, Edge refresh and see if it makes any differences and as you can see by cleaning up the old cache so now everything works perfectly well now let's go back again let's go to the performance where we had b let's retest again and let's see what is the difference now as you can see from the picture it looks much much better now i'm using a very low spec server but if you use a good server, for example, a VPS, you will have a much, much better performance than I'm having here. But nevertheless, WP Rocket is one of my preferred plugins for caching the website. So now that we've done that, and again, don't forget, you can still play with some of the options that might help you to make better performance on your website. Let's go to media, for example. We can see here lazy load. I'm going to do a enable for images. I'm going to enable double uh, WebP caching. Now again, this one might break your website, so you want to make sure. I'm going to save the changes. Once I've done that, I'm going to double P rocket. I'm going to clear the cache again. Go to the main page, refresh. Then I'm going to retest again the website. And this is how you really do it. This is the actual process to ensure that you have a working website. And this is how you optimize your website for the best performance. And as I said before, this is one of the major 
characteristics that Google really look into when it's about to rank websites. So you want to make sure that your website really load fast. So as you can see, we still have B, but we got a little better performance of 91 where before was less. As you can see here, we got 87, 80. We could still have a B, but we got 91 and 84. 1.7, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1.5, 70 millisecond, 0, 0, 2 cumulative. So as you can see, we're doing pretty well here. Let's see if we could do something better. We go preload and a preload is already activated. We go to the advanced rules. I like to leave it merely as they are, unless I got something specific. Database, you can have a post cleanup, comment cleanup, transient cleanup, and the rest. This is quite good if you want to optimize your database, especially when you got a lot of posts and pages and images. This is a brand new website based on Astra. So the actual database is already optimized. Here, you can actually have your own CDN if you already have the information. All you need to do is to enable the CDN content delivery network. You can add your URL from your provider. Here, you can actually exclude the file from the CDN. Don't forget, you need to put the C name from the provider. Then don't forget to save the changes. We go to the next one is the art bit. Yeah, you can control the art bit of the plugin and website where you can actually enable, reduce or disable the art bit activity. You can get add-ons, for example, Google tracking, Facebook pixels, varnish. You can actually add Cloudflare if you want to have, of course, the if you got the API for the CDN and you can also integrate security, the firewall. The next one, we go to image optimization and we can actually install Imagify. All you need to do is install Imagify. We go to the tools. You can actually import, export the settings, and you can also roll back the version of the plugin. For more information, you can go to the last tutorials where you can actually find more tutorials on how to set up the WP Rocket plugin. Back on cache, file optimization. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to retest the website and see if I get anything better. I have turned off some of the add websites than I had on the VPS. Let's see if there's any better performance on the website. And as you can see, we got an A now. We have resolved the issue of the deferred and that how easy it is to install, get started and optimize your website to ensure that your website loads fast and get ranked by Google. Thank you so much for following this tutorial and I'll see you next time.